man want to stay in that house and another man is paying the bill? Yeah, do you see him as a provider? Don't be putting that on no man. And don't have these girls watching this video thinking that every man they meet, oh, I love your apartment. We gotta move. Why? Because you fucked here before. So I, I look at it in two ways. So I personally feel like that person has taken me from one space or level in my life to another. So I'm forever grateful. And I also in the same note feel like if I was to ever be in the space that I could repay in any way, shape or form that I would, you know what I mean? But, um, and the other side of me is like, you can't take it back anyway. So it doesn't matter because you've already placed me at this space. So it's like, yeah, unless you want me to fake be with you to keep my shit, then let's just be friends and it didn't work and that's that. But you gotta continue to, you know, your credit is gonna messed up, I don't know. But he continued paying it. He did continue, he's, yeah. Oh, really? He's still paying it? Yeah, yeah. And you with another dude? Yeah. Come on, man. It's been like, I've been with my guy maybe like going on one year and he's been paying my well, rent I would love since. to meet your guy. <laughs> I would really love to meet him because those some, men are weird. I, I know. And one man want to stay in that house and another man is paying the bills. Yeah, I got to question that's him. Because there's no man yeah, that's, that's going to be like, <laughs> I, I just don't know him. I'm that's go. like, this nigga still, once he finds out, like that nigga still paying the rent here, he's going to be like, nah, we got to get him the credit. He knows? No, he know I got to, both. everybody know everything. He's nice. He's nice. Yeah. But, what was your question? I'm sorry. My thing is, what what kind of man? This is no judge. This is no judge. How does my man feel? I mean, obviously he's okay with it. My man feels like let's while we have this opportunity, let's stack our bread. Oh, so when he's, the, you he's know when it's like you then. That's why y'all together. That's what that is. I don't y'all know. two are both like we're trying to come up. I wasn't sneaky because so if I was sneaky, I would have stayed with no, the man. No, I don't mean for, sneaky like you hiding. I would have. Yeah. What I'm saying is your man is on some like oh if that nigga gonna pay the rent, then we gonna come up off him. So your man think he's a sucker. I mean, a, and he thinks that nigga is a sucker. Yeah. Yeah, my man does think that. He think he's a sucker. He thinks that, but you? I don't think that. No, that's that's my friend. If that I feel was your like, little brother. I feel like your little brother. If it was look, so if like oh, your I'm father, ready, let's be honest. I have a, I have a son. If my son was well off and he decided to put a woman in a car, I would feel like that's disrespectful for you to take. You should have never put that nah, woman in that I car. Agree with that. That's how I feel. And I, I would and I raise and I raise and I raise could use that money in that car. Then he should have thought of that in the budget from day one when he initially got the car. You know what I mean? Because basically. It was hard by cheating. Remember, I said cheating is cheating the only is different. reason. No, to cheating get is different. To, all right, yeah, cheating is different. I feel like if someone cheats on you, then yeah, you should take the stuff away because they're being sneaky. They're using you. You know, they're using you. But if you're open about things like I was in this relationship where it just wasn't working, but we remained friends and he was still paying that during our friendship, and then maybe like five months later, I got with my guy. You know, you're not gonna but stop. You, I think I have you ever seen your man before and and kind of was like, why don't you just pay this shit so yeah. we don't gotta worry about him? Like, yeah, you know, we like, can just get him out of here. But he don't have a. You I see mean, what, that's not, that's neither, neither, have, neither, neither. I mean, neither, neither have given me an issue to where I had to feel like that. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So it's right. not like that man has yes. ever placed me in a space like the guy that pays my bills or pays whatever. He's never told me like, yo, you gotta figure this out. Do you, you know see what your man as a? But when you see your man, do you see him as a provider? Because he's not really providing for you. Or no, do you he, see does, he does in every other way. Like, providing for me, like, what? Just our home? I mean, like, who, like who's more important to you right now? Your boyfriend or the one that's paying for your shelter? They your... play different roles in my life. Oh, you know so what I mean? So one's for money and one's I mean, for obviously, love. No, like, my, my man is my man. Like, I'm going to put him above anybody. Well, I'm so one's for love and one's for money. I'm not with the other person. But respectfully, right? Just too. because we're not judging, we're not judging you at all. Yeah. I don't care. Ideally, yes, I've dated a guy who was very wealthy. When we separated, he was still paying the bills, right? Under the contingent and the understanding that I'm not fucking with nobody else. So I hid that I was in another relationship for a while. Did I ever discuss with the other significant other that this man was still paying the bills? Like, yes. But you know what happened eventually? Eventually he said, yo, if, you, if you're going to be with me 100%, you got to move out of that apartment. Mm. Whatever attachment you have with this man, you got to wrap that up. Or you're saying to me that you're trying to have your cake and eat it too, which is a bad analogy because if it's my cake, I can eat it, right? All of it. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is, it's like, who's who's getting your... He still has a piece of you. So now I have to decide what kind of future I want with this other man. Is he just something to fly by night and I'm having a good time with? Because if that's so, then I'm going to have my cake and eat it too. I'm going to keep this one paying my bills, which is lovely, and this other one doing whatever role he plays. But if I'm trying to take it to the next level, then at some point, even me moving into a man's house and that bed is already there before I got there, we got to get new furniture sweetheart mm -hmm. it's time to get a new mattress and everything i don't want that. the mattress you've been sleeping mm -hmm. on with the other uh, my dad passed away right and my mom moved on this is like super personal 
and my mom moved on. And it, it caused an estranged relationship between the two of us because how I found out she moved on, the man was staying in the house that my father passed away in. Mm -hmm. He was sleeping in the bed that my father had slept in for years. And so it, it caused so much hurt to me because I said, what man was still wants to sleep in the bed that this man was humping and, and dumping and they had memories and shared and I felt like I would have respected him. Well, I can't control who my mother moves on with. I can't change that dynamic. He'll never be my father. But respectfully, I felt like if he had any long-term plans with my mom, he would have said, listen, I can't sleep here tonight and I can't move in this house. We can get our own. I mean, I all right, I mean, now look, <laughs> I, I was with you. Now, Holiday. Yeah. The man met your beautiful mother. God bless both of them. Mm -hmm. Why you, why this man gotta buy a whole new damn house? <laughs> let me let y'all go. All right, I'll let y'all go. Like, let's not over, now let's be realistic. If I meet a woman that has a beautiful condo that her man has bought her, and I walk in there, the last thought on my mind is like, oh shit, she was getting fucked in here. I gotta buy her a whole new condo. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Listen, I'm about, I ain't a real nigga then. I'm gonna go in there and say, damn, old girl hooked this bitch. Um, and I'm gonna try to add to the spot, like, like mm -hmm. yeah, a new mattress, you know, right, maybe right, a, right. some bigger TVs That's in this bitch. I'm gonna spice it up. But it's like, y'all put so much pressure on men financially. It's like, that's just too much pressure. So if I meet a girl and she comes to my house, right, should that girl feel like, well, I'm fucking you now, Guapo, and this bed has been used mm -hmm. and abused probably by a new mattress. That to me is like, girl, buy you, you are one. doing a bit much. I'll buy it for you. I get you. Now that's I, different. I, I, you can buy me a gift though. Don't but don't meet, don't have these girls out here watching this video. Like every man I meet. But are you gonna take the bed every back man when you I, break up? Every man I meet. No, he can have it. Every man I meet has to buy me a for. new mattress. <laughs> don't be putting that on no man. And don't have these girls watching this video thinking that every man they meet, oh, I love your apartment. We gotta move. Why? Because you fucked here before. No, that's, that's not, not realistic. Not, that's not what I'm let, me, let me go. Yeah, I took yeah. it like that. I took it like you said that your mom's boyfriend, maybe your mom has to be at least 50. All right? Mm -hmm. So let's just say a 50 year old man should not have to, to buy a new house for his new woman. You have a house. You've been blessed with a house. I'm dating you. We're going to make this our house. And I'm going to add to it, help with the bills, and be a part of your house. But the you man is no longer, pay, listen, hold on, but the man that's no longer living there isn't still paying the rent there, isn't still paying the mortgage there, isn't still contributing to that household being a household while another man is staying there. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I'm telling you this, though. Every man that meets a woman that has a house, a home, does not have to feel like I have to upgrade the whole house, new she rock and do, no, that's, that's too much. No, no, it should be, listen, I had a, a, a husband before I met you and he took care of me in this house. As my new man, let's walk, come through and help do the same thing. Exactly. But as far as him saying a whole new house, that's pressure that men don't need and don't but have don't women mean, thinking that. But I don't mean he has to put up all the money to move us into a new place, a new space. What I mean is, for example, my man now, his apartment already existed with him and he had one with him and his baby moms at one point. He's like, come stay with me. I don't want to stay there. Extra. Whatever, call it what you want. I'm gonna stay at my place and you stay at yours and then when we find a place mutually for us to live in together, we get a place together. What the? Well, it's yeah, not, I'm sorry, it's, 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 it's not fully. It's not fully extra, because I know, I, I, you know like I left my relationship and I'm gonna be honest with you, I will not move a man in my place until I get another place. I don't want a man in that bed with me because that's my ex and that's our environment. So I probably get new furniture if I'm gonna move a man in or go to somewhere else. Because mm -hmm. all the memory of my, my ex is in that apartment. Hello. Hello. So Hello. I wouldn't Hello. feel comfortable having um, my new man in that bed at all. That's why I, I got a joke. You know. If my, man, know, had, wait, if my man had a mansion, and I don't care if he did the Playboy bunny lifestyle, I'm moving in that bitch. I don't care. Yeah. Tell, yeah. Me, yeah. tell me what happened and what happened. I think, think y'all up here, right? And look, and I love y'all, but I think y'all up here with Big Cat. I have a question. What if, like, ex I didn't say like the whole story from the beginning, but like I was dating this person for like four or five years, mm -hmm. and in the first two years, I supported myself, but also helped them build their business. And this, like, I dedicated all my space and time and everything to their personal business. And um, I ended up getting them like a $50,000 loan. I ended up doing like a whole bunch of things that set them up to be in the space where they were able to make 3,500, let's say a night on their space or whatever. So then 
that's the, at the second year, I was probably like 23, 24 years old when I did that. So then when the person got me the car and the apartment and everything, I was like 27, but our relationship was already like, eh, dying off. We were like friends, but you know what I mean? And to this day, he pays for it. So does it make it different that I helped him become more established or get into a space where those bills are able to be paid off it because different. I helped him get there, even but though we're no longer you together. Say it that way, when you say it that way, it is different because now he feels entitled. There's entitlement now. He feels entitled that he owes you. Just like you said, if you if you were in this relationship and you owe him so much, when you got your first big check, you're gonna give him some money because you're like, thank you. Yeah, great. That's yeah. what he's doing for you. Right. He's saying, mm -hmm. help. Thank you for helping set me up. Without this, I wouldn't have this. And for that. I don't care that you're dating somebody else. I just want to make sure you're straight. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure you're okay. Mm -hmm. That is a different narrative. That changes yeah. the whole narrative. Yeah, yeah. So that's like the full story from that like the man beginning. Is, he's not hurt. He's not hurt. He's not, not hurt. So yeah. he's not hurt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs>
sharing their woman is the idea. Yeah, the, real, the real problem is sharing your woman, whether it's with another woman, with another man, it's the, it's another person. Another person is you're sitting here basically saying that this person is getting 100% of you the way I'm getting it, and they don't deserve that. Mm -hmm. And so I gotta split my feelings and my time with you. Yes, ideally he would love to have wake up to two bad bitches sucking and fucking him all day, but that is not what we're talking about. We're not just talking about a threesome. We're talking about an actual relationship. Well, let me speak